Okay, so this is um, it's been a while, hasn't it? Really. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm sat in the Mark One Focus, and uh, we're going to be um, fixing today. So, I'm not uh, a mechanic by all means or anything. However, my um, reverse light slash bulb has gone completely bust. <laughs> so yeah, it's nearly 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 tearing a hole through the actual bulb itself so we're going to replace that this literally just slides out i'll actually show you quickly as well so you have to bear with the whole video it's been a while since i've done this whole youtube thing so you can see there that's where it fits and just from underneath hopefully as well you can see where the hole is as well so you get behind the um the arch there from the wheel and it's you just push it out and then i just unplugged it as it came out really so yeah, i'm going to clean up that little bit of the area there and then um yeah and hopefully it'll look a lot better for when it goes back in as well so yeah hopefully you do enjoy make sure to like and subscribe and all that malarkey and i'll film what i can and yeah let's have some fun okay so i've moved all the um kind of moved the gunk out of the way sort of thing really so i've just got that but what I am going to do, hang on a sec, is just use this bit of tar, it's got a bit of tar and glue remover on it sort of thing really just to kind of break down, break down the stuff inside and just help it clean it a bit more. So yeah I've moved the connector out of the way and I don't want to get my camera with tar and glue remover either. So I'm using the GoPro 12 as well for anyone that's interested in what the camera I'm using and why the quality either looks really good or really shit. <laughs> there you go. So that's a bit better, I suppose, really, eh? Not too bad. It could probably do a bit better, but it's not the best, I suppose. It all depends really on how on how you want to go about doing it, aren't it really, eh? Just load the sun, I suppose. Looks better. Looks a lot better. But yeah, I'm going to try and scrub this a bit more and see what I can do. Alright, so I've probably spent about five minutes or so doing this and it looks a lot better than what it did. It's not really going to get as good as what I would like it to be. But that's having an old car for you, I suppose. But yeah, so I'm going to um, move the. Uh, Oh yeah, I'm gonna go and clean the um, thing now. I, I ended up using the detailing brush. It was so much easier just to use that instead. Using the and I don't think the door's gonna be open. Oh no, it is. So I'm gonna now clean the base of this. Really, I suppose no point doing the bulb because obviously that's getting replaced and gonna get chucked because it's seen bad days. So yeah, I'm gonna um, do this and uh, yeah, see how it goes. All right, so that's what it looks like now. I mean, it's not, again, it's by far from perfect. However, you know, it will do for the time being. So I'm gonna go and get this ready because we're gonna go, uh, gonna try and go Halfords, the classic, you know, the typical place to go when you need something for your car, but probably arguably the most easiest and just the best option to go for probably if you don't wanna faff around with anything else. Yeah, I'm gonna get that back in there and yeah, let's go. There you go, just for anyone who voted, whoa, it fell out then. So it literally just slides back in there and pushes it. Quite um, quite simple and easy. Now we're gonna head underneath the car. And um, it's still an interesting shot, isn't it? And, oh, and I've got to put the bowl back in enough for it to connect up. Oh, one sec. All right, so I've got the um, I've got it back on again. Just maybe I should hold the thing first. There you go, that's in. That will do. That won't go anywhere anytime soon. So that's now all plugged in. Oh god. Jeez, talk about a day's work already. So yeah, that's plugged in. We can uh, go and drive to Halfords, and hopefully they've got a bulb for um. For the car and then I all right people so you now join me in the car with the media mod on for the GoPro so hopefully you'll um you should be able to hear me a bit better so what's been happening with the car for the past like however long it I've been gone 
not really been gone, but I, I've not really posted about the car because there's not, not really been not really been a lot to do. And I don't know if you want to see me do just like POVs every now and then or whatever, just to kind of just to, oh, I've gone the flaming wrong way. Oh bollocks! It happened to the um, to the focus really. I mean, I'm now I'm, I've now uh, got a new clutch in it as well. That happened on the 25th. That happened on the uh, the 20. You probably see me go a bit darker now. <laughs> but that happened on the the, uh, the 25th of uh, July. So yeah, that was a um, yeah. So top man for doing that. The guy who done that for me, um, uh, a friend sort of thing that I know. So that was uh, that was helpful as a mechanic to have that in your life. And then my brake pads got done because they were absolutely shocking. I don't know if I can put any pictures up on the in the video or whatever. But if I do, then yeah, then you can see. Uh, and then I don't think actually anything else. What else did I? What else have I done? Oh, I've had my uh, my front windows tinted to the to the legal uh, requirement in the UK. So they're not actually as dark as what they probably look or what it probably comes out on camera. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it to be honest with you. I mean, I've not really had any other problems as such. I noticed a leak on the floor under the leaf underneath the car and for everyone out there that knows about cars obviously the Mark 1 Focus doesn't have an under tray so any leaks that happen unfortunately go straight onto the floor <laughs> and I um, panicked because then I, I looked at my coolant and then I see that I had next to no coolant left and I thought this car doesn't drink coolant that quick and it shouldn't be drinking it that quick I thought so what's, what's going on and then it turns out that it's my um so you know I was, I was checking the hoses, checking the you know everything, and then I thought it might be the the expansion tank container. I thought, nah, surely not. I thought, nah. And then so I was looking underneath it and whatever, because obviously you know you never know it could be actually anything when it comes to cars, especially older cars or your first car. So I was looking at it and whatnot, and I was like, mm, uh, it feels a bit wet underneath. I don't know why. So I thought mm, there might be a crack in it. That might be what's causing the. Uh, the coolant to have drained as quick as what it has. Oh, you dick. And then so I thought, hmm, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can try and find a new tank online or whatever. That might just need replacing, which I'm pretty sure is just a couple of bolts and that, that's it. But, and obviously drain out the old uh, one in the tank or whatever. So I thought, oh, what the hell. So then I noticed that it's going all down the, um, the sun plug where all the oil drains when the engine's off it. You know, it goes all down there. It, all up like the coolant is dripping down that way, and I thought, what? So there's me like, looking at it, I'm and on about it, and then me and my uh, me and my dad, yes, I had my dad help me, okay, you yeah, know, whatever. So me and my dad, uh, you know, were looking for it and everything, so I wanted a, um, a bit more of an expert's opinion, considering that it's my first car and I'm still learning. Yes, I'm still learning. So I thought, what can I um, actually... Um, so then I, um, I sent a picture over to the, the guy that I know, the guy that done my clutch, and he, um, he, he reckons it might be the thermostat, which isn't very good. And I, um, and then I had kind of had the idea that it might be the, um, it might be like the little seal or whatever that's kind of given away. And I think that's what it might be, the seal that's that's given away over time, obviously. Jag over there. So yeah, I think that's what it actually is. So there's a little bit of a leak going on at the moment. Not oil or anything, so if it is the seal, we thought it was the water pump for a minute and I like, you know, my heart sank because everyone knows or has a rough idea how expensive flaming water pumps are. So I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, oh, oh for God's sake. I was like, no. And then it actually turns out it might just be the seal or whatever. So yeah, luckily. All right, let's, uh, let's make a move. Let's go and try and sort this out. So, again, not really a lot with the car to be honest. It's quite, it, I mean, it's not, again, nothing really like exciting or whatever. They, they've been done. Again, you can still see through them, so, you know, and they are done to, you know, I've not had any troubles or anything, so yeah. The back ones have always been done. They're like as dark as you can go. On the back, nothing's been done other than getting now a new, uh, a new reverse light. That tire looks a bit flat, so I'll have to pump that up. Wicked. So yeah, let's go in and see what we can do. Okay, I've got the, uh, the new bulbs. I, just, I thought I'd go and get the old, old bulb just in case they wasn't um, overly sure about it. 
I mean, I asked them because at the end of the day, it is just so much easier sometimes just to ask them about it. And there's not exactly like that they're not going to know or not going to know where the stuff is or not going to help you. So, yeah, it's just easier most of the time just to ask people instead of trying to faff around and figure it out for yourself because otherwise you'll be there longer and you don't want to get the wrong cold. So, yeah. All right. Mate. That reminds me, I need to get some wipers soon actually. Hey, the bulbs are there for anyone who's interested. Pause the video, whatever you want to do. But yeah, these bumps are nasty, absolutely nasty. I just had to go back and um, ask about something for. for uh, Jesus. For my, uh, for my parents. So it's a bit dodgy that it's a bit weird isn't it really that these on um, these bumps here are right like to get to go out right you've got to go part you go over these bumps and then you've got to go past the mot tent uh, the mot center and i wonder why they put in there you have to go and get an, uh, a new mot with a new flame in and a whole new suspension after you finish with these bumps like jesus <laughs> Well, I've ended up. If you can see that, typical. Ah, I've just spilled my flaming coffee on the car. Oh, yeah, that's that. Fuck off, mate. Honestly, <laughs> but ah, my hands are hurting. I've just spilled my coffee in the car. Bollocks. Oh shit. to my face as you can probably see even though I've got a burnt probably sticky hand now from the latte yeah I've got a latte by the way for anyone that's interested yeah let's go back fit this and I'm gonna have to clean up this flaming mess now oh for god's sake right so I'm gonna go back under and get this out quickly just push it out for anyone who's in actually really interested there we go I don't want to hit my head on that exhaust because that is hot. And then if we, or if I set that back a bit more, you can actually see what I'm doing then, can't you? <laughs> Which would be helpful. Oh, you bastard. I'm just twisting it the wrong way. That should come out like that. And then one of these bad boys. I didn't really open that very well, did I? There we go. One of these, all, all should fit in there. Yeah, I, I think it might. Hopefully, this might even be a little bit brighter. That'd be quite nice. All right, and then that will go there. Now let's test it. Right, so you can see it works and everything like that, which is nice. So, yeah, I've done something on my own. <laughs> a proud moment for me. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, uh, 
like anything in the video make sure to drop it down below let me know what you think of it as well make sure to like and subscribe and kill the notification bell so you don't miss when i go live or even post on youtube my first youtube video with the brand new gopro hero 12 let me know how it how it's done if you've noticed a difference from everyone else using like an 11 to 12 or anything or how you, how you think it looks i have been filming in 4k as well 4k 30 this whole time so what i've been using let me know how you think in the comments below and yeah thanks for watching yeah oh yeah and the coffee's um all cleaned up by the way <laughs> done i thought i'd better do that first really because i don't want that to stink but yeah that's all done thanks so much for watching and yeah take care and i'll see you in the next one see you later